Welcome back. Now, as head of the Hausa and the Ayo communities in Lagos, what are your specific responsibilities to the communities that you lead? To make sure that our the to make sure the Ariwa community lives in peace and harmony with um, the other tribes in Lagos to be law abiding and to go about their normal civic responsibilities and to make sure they are not short change in whatever developmental programs that the government of the day has. In real terms, are there specific programs that you've done that you can share with us that sort of explain or show practical examples of this particular work you do? Oh yes, I would give you an example. There was, um, there was uh, an exercise by Lagos State Government in Ijora Badia. They had to clear a section of Ijora Badia that had um, a lot of northerners, but they were clearing it to have a development because Lagos State Government wants to put up a structure there. It's called, I think, 1008. It's like 1004 in uh, this state. Block of flats. Yes, and um, we had a discussion with the government, the governor precisely, and he promised, uh, you know, we all put our heads together when the development starts, you know, the government is going to, you know, concede certain percentage of the property development to the northerners that were there already because they were they were staying there illegally so it wasn't like they had documents or whatever and because of what the government of Lagos State is doing they want to develop you know different areas and everything and then um yeah there's... so through your intervention essentially you're saying they well, were given a concession I wouldn't say through my intervention the government of the state has a human face. That is just the God honest truth. I was involved in it as the leader so that I can I can simplify it and make the people understand the reason why that development is coming and that development is for everybody. It is not something that they will say, okay, it is the Yorubas or the Igbos. No, this is a development that everybody would partake in it. You are multilingual, very comfortable you know, among fellow Lagosians like yourself, highly respected um, by many of them. So why haven't you used your connections to get, you know, a House of Fulani man into the sort of executive arm of government in the same way that there's now an Igbo man in government? To be very honest with you, that is something that I've been thinking about, but um, I can assure you to answer that question directly, come 2015, I am sure we would have an Ariwa person. I'm not going to say how Safalani. There would be an Ariwa person in the government in in the government of Lagos State. That I can assure you, because we have the number of votes to ask for that. And you know, politics is give and take. So come 2015, by the grace of God, there would be a minimum of a commissioner. In Lagos State from Ariwa faction. It could be a Christian so, northerner, it could be a Muslim northerner, Hausa, you know, Kanuri, whatever, but there would be. So essentially what you're announcing on national TV is whoever wants the Ariwa vote had better know that they are going to give you a position come 2015. That's, we, the, that's we, the give and take. Um, if they're not giving you any position, you're not voting for them. To be very honest with you, yes. we would we would have a political say in Lagos in 2015. Whatever definition they give to that, yes, we would mobilize. And we exercise. have over 966,000 registered voters. That is one sixth of the registered voters in Lagos. And by the grace of God, we're going to use every one of it. Thank you very much, Serki, for being a guest on the program. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You've been watching Straight Talk with me, Kedria Ahmed. My guest was Alaji Aminu Yaru, the Serking House of Lagos. We discussed the concept of being an indigent, security, leadership, and the work he's doing for his community here in Lagos. Join me next week when I'll be in conversation with another special guest. Have a really good evening.